Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking at the equation second derivative of y plus the derivative of y minus 2y equals x squared. And we're using the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually find what the derivative of y is and what the, der the second derivative of y is. So taking our form right here, we can say y prime is equal to, and so the derivative of this term, we take out the coefficient, we bring down the exponent because it's a power function, and then our new exponent is the old exponent minus 1. For this x term right here, when you just have x and not x squared or anything, all you can say is that the coefficient is the derivative. And then the derivative of a constant c is just going to be 0, so we can say plus 0, and therefore the derivative is equal to 2a, x to the 2 minus 1 is just x to the first power, which is x, plus b plus 0 is just plus b. Next, we know that y double prime is just the derivative of the derivative. And again, if we have an x term, we can just say that its coefficient is the derivative. And then the derivative of a constant is 0. So this is 2a plus 0, which is just 2a. So now we can plug in our equation for y, y prime, and double y prime into this equation, and we'll be able to solve for a, b, and c. So writing it out right here, just rewriting what we have given, we know that the second derivative is 2a plus the first derivative is 2ax plus b, and then we're saying minus 2y, which is ax squared plus bx plus c, is equal to x squared. Simplifying this out, we have 2a plus 2ax plus b, distributing minus 2ax squared minus 2bx minus 2c equals x squared. And for this to be true, negative 2ax squared has to be equal to x squared. If both of these are going to be equal, then the x squared terms have to be equal. Therefore, if 2ax squared equals to x squared, canceling the x squared on both sides, there's an imaginary 1 out in front, you get negative 2a is equal to 1, divided by negative 2, and you get a is equal to negative 1 half. Now, what do we know about the x terms? Well, we have 2ax minus 2bx, and that is equal to 0. There's no x term on the other side. We know that we can divide by x all throughout. We get 2a minus 2b is equal to 0 divided by x is 0. Add 2b on both sides. These cancel. We get 2a is equal to 2b, which means that a equals b. If a equals b, then b equals a, which is negative 1 half. Finally, we can solve for c. We know that 2a plus b minus 2c is equal to 0. Plugging in for a and b, we get 2 times negative 1 half plus b is negative 1 half minus 2c equals 0. Negative 2 times 1 half plus negative 1 times 1 half is negative 3 1 halves, which is negative 3 halves. If we add 2c to both sides, these cancel and we get that's equal to 2c. Dividing by 2 from both of them, we get c is equal to negative 3 halves divided by 2 is negative 3 fourths. So now we know a, we know b, and we know c. So we can plug them in and get our final equation y is equal to ax squared, so negative 1 half x squared, plus bx, so minus 1 half x, plus c minus three fourths. That's your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.